It's some of the latest in military drone technology that's transforming the way war is fought. From stealthy surveillance high above the battlefield to sudden precision attacks down onto it. Their use by both sides in the war in Ukraine has increased interest globally. We have seen drones being widely used in Ukraine, which shows their necessity is increasing. So I think the market is getting bigger and bigger. High-tech weapon making is supported by South Korea's advanced manufacturing. Just as its precision and heavy engineering have helped it become a leading arms supplier, now benefiting from the war in Ukraine. For South Korea, the war provides both opportunity but also risk. It has stopped short of supplying weapons directly to Ukraine for fear of angering Russia, which exerts influence over North Korea. But the war has also increased demand from East European nations who want to buy ever more NATO standard equipment. South Korea has used its alliance with the US and friendly ties with NATO to position itself as a supplier of choice, signing its biggest ever single arms deal with Poland for tanks, self-propelled guns and fighter jets to replace equipment that Poland sent to Ukraine. Through the NATO summit, we exported the K-2 tank, the K-9 howitzer and F-A-50 jets to Poland, achieving our biggest ever arms sale. Last year, South Korea's military exports set a record of more than $7 billion, a figure that is already eclipsed by sales this year, thanks in part to fighting thousands of kilometers away in Eastern Europe. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.